Okay, a battle over two ballot measures playing out in real time in San Francisco. At issue is whether to reopen the Great Highway and JFK Drive to cars like it was before the pandemic. Right now, a one and a half mile stretch of it is closed, acting as a recreation haven for lots of people. NBC Barry's Tom Jensen sorts it out for us. On the one hand, you have the pedestrians, bicyclists, and skateboarders who want to keep these road closures in place. They say a vote yes on Jay will do that. On the other hand, we have the Prop I supporters. They were out in force today handing out these pamphlets to drivers, showing them why they should vote yes on I and no on Jay to reopen these roads back to the way it was before the pandemic. A steady stream of cars making lefts as drivers run into road closure signs on the Great Highway at Lincoln Way. The highway closes here Fridays at noon until Monday morning at 6. One and a half miles of JFK Drive through Golden Gate Park is also closed. Both pandemic-related closures remain in place, but supporters of Prop I say it's time to reopen both. It's been really difficult for visitors to be able to access and reach these places inside of the park. Paria D works at the De Young Museum and says the JFK closure has led to fewer visitors at museums and other venues, which also means fewer donations to the nonprofit organizations. Uh, De Young has seen a 45% decrease in attendance, so we've seen this closure have a real serious impact on people being able to access the museum. And Sunset District neighbors say their streets have become raceways as drivers try to get around the great highway closures, sometimes 20,000 cars and trucks per day and these people are angry they all they want to do is get home so they tend to be a little bit impatient on the road um, <clears throat> you know and they probably go a little bit too fast but other sunset neighborhood residents say they'll vote for Jay to keep the road closed well, my experience of neighborhood traffic is that uh, it's manageable Elliot Bailey says finding safe places to ride bikes in the city is not manageable though a painful lesson he learned just days ago when he collided with a car turned right into the bike path and I had no time to stop. I crashed into the car and I flew over the hood, landed on my arm and broke my wrist. Jay supporters say they just haven't found anything comparable to the Great Highway and they want to keep this safe haven in place. Um, I would like bike, roller skate, uh, skateboard, um, walk along with my family. We're sure to hear more from both sides telling their stories as election day nears. Each has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for their campaigns. Oh, nice. In San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.